To start, you've built such an illustrious career in film and television. What was it about Double Down South and this character in particular that resonated with you? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, well, first of all, Tom Shulman, Oscar award-winning writer. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I hadn't read a script in a long time that just absolutely sucked me in. And Diana is so strong and so brave and has a heart. And it, it was just kind of like, who wouldn't want to be her? Mm. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what brought me in. You know, throughout your career, you've jumped back and forth between television and film so seamlessly. And in television, you're often learning more about your character as the series goes on. But with film, you know where your character starts and where she ends. How different are those mediums from a creative standpoint and in your character development process? It's fun both ways. You're right. It is great to know kind of where your character ends, but I still, I always believe that they live on and a little bit in me. Mm. <laughs> Um, you know, uh, it's amazing to develop a character over years and you don't even know exactly where she's going to end up. Um, but with Diana, um, it was so great. We got to rehearse for a week before. Um, so it kind of felt like a play. I mean, we were in one location pretty much the whole shoot um, and basically lived there. And the house itself almost feels like a character of its own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we, you know... You do a lot of work beforehand um, before you jump in, but the rehearsal process with the whole cast, with our DP, with our director, Tom, um, was incredible um, and so helpful. And you've played so many powerful female characters throughout your career. Who are the women in your own life who've shaped the storyteller that you are today? My mom. <laughs> My mom is such a powerhouse. She's incredibly intelligent. I don't know where that went for me. I wish I got to take some of that. <laughs> <laughs> you have that. <laughs> um, she's she's just a powerhouse and she goes for what she wants and she believes in herself and she made sure I believed in myself um, yeah. and brought me up but kept me grounded in so many ways. And um, my late manager, uh, Kate Linden, she was such a powerhouse as well. Um, just, you know, Surround yourself with powerful women and it will help your life. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's part of your preparation for this film. You spent hours training and pool. How did that physicality and research allow you to further tap into Diana's core and the essence of this character? What was more challenging, learning pool or maintaining that accent throughout filming? God. Um, well, luckily, thank goodness for um, Matt Craven, who is actually great friends with Kim Coates and, and Tom. And Tom just called me and was like, you ready to start learning pool? Because I had no idea. You know, I, I didn't have a proper bridge. I didn't I didn't know what I was doing. So thank goodness for him. We spent like five hours a day um, practicing, practicing. Um, the accent weirdly came a little bit easier than the pool, I would say. I don't know why. But uh, it just kind of flowed through me, maybe being around everyone. Mm. Yeah, it so, was tougher. <laughs> <laughs> That's a testament to, to your talent and your craft. And, you know, music also plays such an integral role in how you prepare for a scene. Has that always been part of your creative process? What were you listening to to embody Diana, who goes on such a roller coaster journey throughout this film? Great question. I love music. Um, I always try and make playlists for my characters anyway. And while we were filming, I was actually making a playlist for everyone for the movie and going mm. up. We need this song here. We need, you know, <laughs> can we afford it? Um, but you know, um, for Diana, it was it was. Uh, I love Patsy Cline so much and Johnny Cash. Mm. A lot of that going on. Um, Simon and Garfunkel a little bit. Um, I don't know if you know the song Money by Simon Garfunkel. That was a really fun one. So yeah, keeping it kind of Southern with a little bit of rock and roll um, to keep me in that space, but also bring out the toughness a little bit and the, the go get them. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Second was next question. But Diana faces a lot of adversity and misogyny throughout the film, but it fuels her drive to prove everybody wrong. And you brought so much depth and strength to that journey. As an actress, how did you create the space to tackle that arc? And did you channel any of your own personal experiences into Diana? Absolutely. Um, you know, I think just being a woman <laughs> in general, we unfortunately have to deal with a bit of misogynistic mm. men 
And uh, yeah, so if you want to be great at your career, you have to deal with it. Um, and I definitely think it has fired me up and made me want to be better and do better. Um, and uh, so, yeah, definitely brought some of my own experiences. But um, I also feel like I took of some of Diana's experiences with me and feel stronger today as a woman, which is wonderful. Yeah. I feel like that's such a great message for people that are going to be watching this film. And I think what, what else you've done so brilliantly with this project is that that shocking reveal at the end, which you know, as the actress of Body and Diana, that that's coming, but the audience doesn't. And when that reveal happens, all the things that happen in the film leading up to that point start to make sense. How were you able to find little moments where you could drop those subtle hints? And how rewarding is it for you to know that so many of these audience members didn't see that twist coming? So rewarding. Um... <laughs> It's so much fun. Uh, I When I read the script, I had no idea. So that was really exciting. And I can normally guess, um, but it was such a surprise, so much fun. And yeah, we we all talked about it. We, uh, Kim, the whole, the whole cast, the crew, Tom, we made sure, okay, wait, let's not do this here. It's too much. We need it to make it subtle, a little bit more subtle, but there are definitely moments yeah. that I, in my backstory that I chose in earlier scenes that if you look back, you're like, oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, that's only totally what I did with this film. I like, by the time that twist got revealed, I gasped and I was like, wait, now everything leading up makes so much sense. That's yeah. to the entire yeah. cast. And there's also so much trust that you need when you're, especially with that, between that dynamic between um, Nick and Diana, what was that like collaborating with Kim and building that as you approach bringing that dynamic to life on screen? Well, first of all, Kim is an angel of a human and endlessly talented, so kind, so funny. He and I, I mean, we were all such a family. It felt like summer camp. Um, he and I kind of stayed away from each other a little bit more than others. Mm. That kind of tension alive on set. Um, but, oh my gosh, he is a forever friend, forever family now. Um, completely different than his character, the exact opposite. Um, so it having, knowing that immediately gives you trust. Mm. And when it came to physical scenes, I trusted him completely. He was trusting me and everything was safe, 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 safe. Um, Kim calls himself Mr. Safety, I think, or something like that. And he is, he's wonderful. So yeah, trust. Absolutely. Thank goodness. Yeah. I feel like the both of you just elevated each other's performances throughout the film. And you've worked on projects of all sizes. What is it about independent filmmaking that excites you as a creative and a storyteller? Oh, great question. I think independent movies are so important, um, yeah. especially original scripts. Um, they, you know, there's so much more love and passion because the people who are there down to the smallest person on the on the cast list on the crew list every single person there is doing it because they love it they love the script they believe in the story they everyone comes together everyone trusts each other you have to work with everyone and trust everyone and it again it just uh, sorry to repeat myself it's such a family it's such a beautiful family Everybody's like there because they're passionate about the story and love the script. And Tom wrote and directed this project. How different is that filming experience when the person who's helped create these characters and this universe is also at the helm directing? What was that collaboration like? Wonderful. Tom is is wonderful and a genius. And, you know, he the difference was him being the writer. We'd come to set and he prepared us for this. He, he said he would do this, but he was like, so I rewrote that, um, <laughs> that scene we were supposed to do today. It's it's we're doing this now, and we'd go like, okay, we're in it, let's go. Um, and he held our hands along the way, but um, he knows the character so deeply, and actually, mm. a lot of these characters are inspired by true events that happened yeah. to him uh, when he was a younger teen. Um, so getting to collaborate with the person who knows these characters so deeply and work with each other and um create a character is incredible um yeah 
that feels very much like the television medium where writers are shaping narratives based on the performances of their actors. And you carry this film incredibly. Is there a scene in particular that you're really excited for audiences to see? <laughs> well, you know, the last scene is pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not last, last, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the ending is pretty great. Um, you know, I love all of them. I love my I love my one on ones. I, I I think they're really special. My one on one with Igby Igby Rigney, yeah. um, every scene with him. Obviously, every scene with Kim. Um, but even my one on ones with uh, Douche, played by Cameron. Um, yeah, I think they're just all really special and shows the heart of each character when it's one on one and intimate like that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's like beauty, beauty in that subtlety. And the film has made its way around the festival circuit. It's in theaters now. It's going to be on VOD. It's been incredibly well received. What do you think is resonating most with audiences? And what do you hope they take away after seeing it? Oh, man. Um, well, I hope for the women, they see that they can be strong and courageous and believe in themselves. Um, yeah, I hope that they take away and go. I hope, I hope people are going to theaters because... It's so special to see it in the theater, um, but I hope it excites people again about original scripts, you know, um, and art and yeah, I hope it makes them happy. I hope they enjoy it. <laughs> yeah.